Few things compare to a big Florida snook. Many people will tell you that you need to use live bait or you need some special sort of rig or something like that. But let me tell you guys, snook are scavengers. They are a fish that will eat a little bit of everything. And when the right opportunity presents itself, you can catch some massive fish on some baits that you would never ever believe. Today, I have the opportunity to hook a absolute donkey on a bait that you may not think that you would use. It was probably the biggest fish I've seen all summer. I'm excited for you guys to watch today's video. I'm excited for you guys to be here. If you guys like the pure fishing content, just go ahead and hit the thumbs up button right now. Let's get to the video. I caught a bunch of live croakers up north and then brought them down to the pier because you can sometimes you can catch croakers here but not often and starting the day those croakers were getting annihilated as soon as they hit the bottom they were just getting crushed all right got a three ounce egg sinker some 60 pound mainline 220 pound swivel 80 pound leader and then a five odd gamagatsu Live croaker. And my familiar for some reason, bro. I, don't I uh, I make YouTube videos. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. What it is. Well, it's good meeting you, man. Yeah, for sure. What's your name? Robert, bro. Robert, nice to meet you, brother. Likewise. I'm Ryan. Ryan. Oh, oh, Danny, you're that's up, a snook. Danny, you're <laughs> Get him, brother. Drop the net. Catching a cuda and a million snook. Whoa! Let's try this again. Croaker round two. Yeah, you got croaker? Yeah. Oh, that one. It's gonna be okay. Just got a thumb. Come on. Didn't feel like he got it all the way. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. You might have to toss it out. No, we good. We good. Swam right in. We good. <laughs> We good. Oh, I love that guy on opening day. He'd be close. <laughs> Appreciate you. Got it. What'd you say your name was? I did it. What was My your name? Danny. Danny, nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. <laughs> Spunky fish to start the day. Not bad at all. Definitely not as big as the. Uh, other one we just lost, but he's good nonetheless. We'll take him. All right, let's let him go. All right for him. Oh, and there he goes. So following this snook, I dropped down another croaker and didn't get the GoPro to click on in time, but I hooked a pretty big fish, probably in the 40 inch class range, had him up to the surface, and then he came off. Reel up my line and what do I see? My leader got chafed. People always ask why we fish heavy stuff out here. That is a 100 pound leader. That snook just chafed right through. It's crazy. So we're rocking some 100 pound Andy. 
just retying right now. I go with uni knot. It's typically typically my go-to. Just like that. And so most of these fish have been spawning all summer. They're getting to the point now that they're almost done with the summer season of just breeding. And they will be moving into kind of their fall pattern pretty soon. We're in like late August. As soon as the mullets start pushing, as soon as we start getting swells and northwest winds, it's really gonna change their pattern. So this is one of, say, the last kind of times of year that I can target them this way, where I know they're gonna be staged exactly where they are. Bring croakers and fish for them like this. So definitely trying to take advantage of it. Or grab it with my teeth. Don't tell my dentist. You wet it down and then I work it down with my hand just to try and avoid any kinks. You wanna try and keep your leader as straight as possible. And I'll periodically pull on the tag end to make sure it sits nicely. It's just a four wrap uni, try and keep my leader straight. Sometimes I'll hook my hook onto something and pull it extra tight to try and straighten out my leader because especially when you're fishing this heavy stuff, the least amount of coils and kinks, the better, the less light it's gonna reflect off of it. A little bit of a bigger one. Maybe it'll equal a bigger snug. can hear them. Scared them all away. Yeah. I did it just for you so they don't eat your snapper bait. <laughs> oh, there we go. Come on. Get it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, here we go. You! Uh -oh. yeah, Woo! Look out, look out, look out. Uh, okay. Well, that was a smaller fish and ate my biggest croaker. Okay, croakers are a bait that snook really, really key in on. The old saying is that snook like to eat croakers because croakers eat snook eggs. I'm not really sure that's true. I just think it's a very, very solid bait that snook love and honestly they make a lot of noise and I think it might piss the snook off too. Those baits were absolutely crushing the snook as the morning went on. Let's go. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Let's go. Yeah. That man of the year. <laughs> The guy with the snook crack. <laughs> <laughs> Another little nice one. Still looking for the monster. All right, dude. Let me jump in right here and I'm going to go through all of the rods that I use throughout the day. And if you guys like me kind of jumping in, showing you the rods, tackles, tips, tricks, and things like that, go ahead and like the video. It helps the channel out a lot, and it'll help the channel grow. If you like these videos, we should share them to more people, but let's get into it. I always bring a little rod. Little rod just you can use to catch a little bit of everything. I used it today to catch some houndfish. I used it today to catch some needlefish. I was aiming at some blue runners, as well as I used it to I used it with a sabiki and caught a bunch of bait fish with that. So I always bring a light rod. This is just a Twin Power 4000 on a seven foot medium action rod. Next is a big spinning rod. So this is a nine foot 20 to 50 Calstar blank. This is just a custom made rod 
it's rated for 20 to 50, but any nine foot or eight foot heavy big spinning rod is what I would like to use. Got 50 pound braid on a Van Stall 250. And then I rate this with multiple things throughout the day. So I use some wire on it. I use some 50 pound leader, some 60, some 80, a little bit of everything, but love to have a big heavy spinning rod. And lastly is what I caught most of my fish on today. So this is a heavier conventional rod. This is a nine foot conventional rod rated for about 50 pound test. I have some 60 pound main line, 220 pound swivel, three ounce egg sinker, and I used everything from 50 pound to 100 pound leader today. A little bit of everything depending on the situation. got this guy on a crappie jig sign him down for snook bait later as the day went on the snook bite pretty much screeched to a halt so I had to find something to entertain myself with the hopes that maybe it would turn on a little bit in the afternoon I started catching some houndfish and needlefish both which have these bills and look very very similar on a white crappie jig and my intention was to use them for both barracudas as well as big snook I usually smoke them, man. I thought this was about oh, to be game I over. Kuda's about to smoke them. Ooh, that's monster See if a Kuda wants to play. Instant. Yo. Oh. As soon as that gog went in front of him. Oh boy. Oh boy. On that goggle eye. Yeah, I'm ready. You might have to swing it out. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're, we're kind of. Here we go. Watch this. Right there. Wow. Oh. Got him. Nice, bro. Got him. Nice. Thanks. So you, Danny was the bait plug. Threw me a live goggle eye. Yeah, he caught a goggle eye. Yeah. Nice, man. Back, yeah, for sure. Stanky. You can smell them. 
Dude, there was, was like smell? six sitting right there, and I just whoop, and as soon as it hit the water, it's like. Pew! That's a big one. Are they slimy? Oh yeah, slimy and stinky. Get some good fillets out right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the other white meat? <laughs> Cuda? Crushed goggle eye? Oh, now oh. uh, Check out those teeth. Tap the back of the screen. You can see. Oh, yeah, I see. Hold on. I want to pick Check out those teeth. That's why you fish wire so they don't cut you off. Yeah. That was fun. What's up, bro? Flyers? Uh, I think I got some, unless you got some handy. Yeah. Take this dead hound fish, kind of fold them in half, because snook will fold them in half in their mouth. And just hook him through the back here, the circle hook. They just kind of sit like that. Snook will eat these, believe it or not. Let's see if we can get one. Fish, yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, that thing was massive. Jeez. That yeah, was a massive snook. I didn't know they eat needlefish like that. Yeah, they do. Dude, massive. Ugh. God. That thing ripped right off. That was such a big fish. Oh, uh, not value. Needlefish. Oh, you just got hit. You just got hit. Let's go. Dropped it. He's good. He dropped it. That is going to be the end of the day. The big camera died. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All in all. Four or five snook, big cuda, little bit of everything. Nothing like some summertime pier fishing. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.